again, as I said, um, Joan Didion and John Gregory Dunn, who wrote all these wonderful things together. Um, John Gregory Dunn actually would have Joan go to meetings first because the men you work with in Hollywood, if you went to a meeting together, would look at John while they talked. So if they sent Joan alone and pretended John was sick one day, the men got used to looking at her. And then when they came together, they looked at both of them. And so he was, they were pretty brilliant about making sure she didn't get forgotten in the writing process of that. 